today's plan is core concentration. So we're gonna work on all those muscles that line your waistline, also known as the core. So we're actually gonna start standing for this we're gonna begin with the feet hip width apart, hands at the hips. We're gonna start off by engaging those core muscles and working on a little balance. So all I want you to do is press your shoulders down your back, scoop your belly button into your spine, and see if you think of, can think about lifting up through your pelvic floor. Shift your weight into this leg and lift the heel on this foot. So you can keep your toes on the floor for now. Switch legs and lift so really get a sense of grounding down into that supporting leg now this time see if maybe you can start to lift that foot off the floor very gently doesn't have to go high yet switch sides now as you're doing this feel the connection between lifting your foot off the floor and drawing deeper into your abdominal so think in as you lift up good as you get the hang of this you might feel ready to lift the knee up in line with the hip and hold it for a second. Come down, good. So remember, balance is just like a muscle. We have to keep working it to strengthen it. So if you haven't worked on your balance in a while, things may be a little wobbly, but that's okay. With practice, it's gonna get stronger and stronger. Now, we're gonna start to use the upper body a little bit more. So go ahead and reach your arms down by your sides. You're gonna lift this knee up, reach your opposite arm up by your ear, hold it. Step it down, switch sides, draw the abs in, lift opposite arm up by your ear, step down and switch, good. So thinking again, pressing down with the shoulders, in with the belly, up with the pelvic floor, find your center and hold that balance for a second or two before stepping down. Let's do two more and lift. Good, last time, here we go. Up, hold, hold and Step it down, great job. Okay, so we're gonna move on from here. Taking the feet hip distance apart, little softness in the knees, keeping a nice straight spine. Fingertips at the shoulders, crossing the arms. We're gonna do a little deadlift. We practiced this one in our body weight basics. So same alignment through the spine. You're gonna hinge forward, look at the floor. As you come up, I want you to look over your front shoulder, give me a little twist. Inhale, come center, flat back. Look over your back shoulder. Exhale and twist. So it's a really gentle twist, but pay attention to how your lower back feels. If this bothers your back in any way, don't add the twist. Simply look straight ahead as you come up. Keep the back flat, don't let it round. Inhaling down, exhaling flat back up as we twist. So when we work our abdominals, we're always thinking about doing kind of crunches and bicycle twists and all that stuff that work the front side of the torso. It's super important to make sure that we're creating balanced muscles. So you wanna work the back side of the body as much as you work the front. So we're starting off with a nice exercise at the back that really wraps into those obliques with that twist. Give me one more. Down and twist it. Great job, okay. So let's go ahead and move on down to the floor. Just carefully come down to your hands and your knees. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. I want you to just tuck your toes under and scoop into your lower belly. So before you start doing anything, really think about drawing your abs in and up. So all we're gonna do from here is try to lift our knees off of the floor without lifting our hips high in the air. So you're gonna scoop your abs in, keep the toes tucked, and just hover your knees. Now this is much harder than it looks, right? It looks pretty simple and easy, but I want you to keep your knees close to the floor, your hips below your shoulders. Scoop, 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 good. Now you can just keep working here and hold it like this, or you can give me a little twist from side to side. Now I'm not going big, with this twist because I don't want you to move your hips. I want you to just swivel on the balls of your feet, directing the knees from side to side using your obliques. A lot of core work here. Yep. Keep the shoulders down. Your eyes can just focus on the floor. Keep your neck in line with your spine. And we have four and three and two. Give me one more swivel. Woo, come on down. Great job. Okay, let's move on. So we're gonna go into an elbow plank. So set yourself up on your elbows. 
this time we're gonna clasp our hands together, tuck the toes under, hip width apart. So pull your shoulders down to your hips, close the rib cage. Think of first scooping your belly off of the floor, then begin to lift your hips. Knees can stay down for now. Press down with your shoulders. See if you can extend your legs out strong. Now, if this gets to be too intensive, you're gonna lightly keep your knees on the floor and just hold it here. Extend out through your heels. Abs in tight, we're gonna alternate tapping one knee to the floor quickly at a time. Ready? We tap one, tap, two, tap, three, tap, four, keep your body steady, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Extend both legs out, release, come to the floor. Good job. Hands underneath the shoulders, squeeze your elbows in by your sides, toes on the ground. Just extend and lift your chest. So feel those back muscles, pull your shoulders down. See if you can now take your hands away and reach back towards your feet. Maybe you're ready to lift those legs off the ground. Hold it here or flutter those legs as if you're kicking in a kick in a pool off a kickboard. A little flutter kick. Eight, seven, you're gonna feel that low back. Six, five, keep your chest lifted high. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let's press the hips back over the heels. Give that spine a little stretch. Nice job. Okay, so let's come back onto our back. We're gonna take the feet hip distance apart and lay back onto the back. So we're just gonna start bringing that right knee across the left leg, hands behind the head, and we're gonna do a little crossover crunch. So elbows are wide, we're gonna lift up one and come back, two and back, three and down, four and down, that's it. Five, abs in tight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna do ten more. You can stay right here or you can bring your knee in and out. So we're gonna go in one, extend it parallel to the floor. Two, three, four, keep breathing. Five, six, that's it. Seven, eight, nine, one more time, 10. Quickly switch legs, cross it over first, we go the other way, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep your elbows wide, five, four, good, three, two, one more. And with the leg, if you want, in and out. One, two, three, four, that's it. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One more time, 10, great job. From here, we're just gonna turn over onto our side. So I want you to set yourself up for a little side plank. Elbow underneath your shoulder. Top leg is straight, but the bottom knee is gonna stay bent. My more advanced folks, you can go ahead and straight both legs if you're ready. And we're just gonna lift the hips up off the floor, pressing away with this bottom side. We're gonna come up and down. So we lift one, tap down, two, tap down. If you want even more, take your arm up above your shoulder. Four, five, Six, really squeeze to lift. Seven, eight, that's it. Nine, and 10. Take this one up and just hold it. So you're gonna stay here. Maybe you wanna come here. Maybe you even wanna float that top leg. I don't know, see what you're feeling like. Go crazy, but keep your form. Four, three, two, nice job. Come on down, swing your legs around. Let's get right into the other side. So we stack everything, make sure your elbow is underneath your shoulder so you don't feel that shoulder joint. Hand at the hip or above the shoulder and start with your lift. Ready, push away from here and one. Lift, two, up, three, that's it. Four, five, 
six, seven, looking good, eight, press, nine, 10, take this one up and we're just gonna hold it and stay there, top arm can reach, maybe the top leg wants to reach, keep pressing away from the floor, and set it down carefully, good job. Okay, let's turn back onto the back. And we're just gonna do a little bit for the lower part of that abdominal wall. So your abdominal wall is one connected lower and upper half. There's no real division. But we're gonna go into where the abdominal wall connects to the pelvis. So I want you to just take your hands by your sides, relax your neck, just bend your knees into your chest. And we're gonna exhale and try to tuck the knees in and lift the hips and roll back. So try not to use as much momentum. You wanna really scoop in and release. Scoop in and release. So you can start with this. You can progress by extending the legs and releasing. Or maybe you wanna keep your legs straight the whole time, even harder. So I'm gonna stay with that basic option. You take it where you want, exhale. And as you think about lifting your hips, I want you to imagine you're putting on your tightest pair of jeans. You're gonna scoop everything and zip up from your pelvic floor into your belly button. Go deep into those abs, relax your shoulders and your neck. Keep those shoulders, press your arms down. That's what's gonna help, not pushing your shoulders to your ears. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. Four more and release, three and release. Two, one more. Great job. Hug your knees in, rock yourself up to seated. So we're gonna finish up with one last exercise. We're gonna go back into the back of the body while we continue to work that abdominal wall. So hands and knees. We kind of set this up with our body weight basics routine too. You're gonna take your back leg in line with your hip, front arm in line with your shoulder. Just get your balance first. So all you're gonna do is open your arm and leg slightly, and I mean about 45 degrees, away from your body. Out, come back in line with the joint. That's your movement. So we're gonna come out and in. Keep your body steady and still. If you need to make it easier, lower your arm and leg a little bit towards the floor. Out and in. Out, shoulders and hips stay square. Out and in, give me one more. Out and in, set it down carefully, switch sides. Reach out, abs tight, 45 degrees. Out and in, out and in, that's it. And out and in, and out and in. Keep everything steady. Focus your eyes on the floor, keep the spine long, abs tight, and out, and in, you got it. Last two, in one more time, out, and in, really nice. Set it down, sit your hips back to your heels, just take a little stretch. So nice, deep, relaxing breath. Good, now we're gonna shift the weight forward into the hands. Drop the hips to the floor, roll your shoulders back, just ah, open up those abs, roll the shoulders away from your ears, take a nice deep breath. Good, and let's just come up to the hands and the knees. Slowly tuck the toes under, just kind of walk back to a low crouched position. Drop your heels, lift your hips. Draw your abs in tight and roll up slowly through your spine, stacking one vertebrae at a time. I want you to stand two inches taller up the top. Roll your shoulders down your back. Great job. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're well on your way to completing our Fit in 15 program, this was your core concentration routine. Be sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know that you've completed the workout and how it went for you. Keep up the great work, team. I'll see you for another workout soon.